How does it feel to be back here this year after winning an Academy Award last year? Well, before and after, you really see the difference. It was really stressful. You didn't know who was going to win. We had so many interviews. I had so many eyes on me. I was under such scrutiny. And I had to really think about my behavior and the words I would choose. There were so many things to consider. And after going through that experience, I'm relaxed. I feel like the stress has just evaporated into dust. And I'm enjoying watching the next generation of nominees and their journey. Because I already was there last year. I can check that off my bucket list. But it's really fun for me to watch their journey and find out who's going to win this year. I, can, I know the winner before anyone else does, because I'll open that envelope tonight. I love that. Many of the acting nominees are first time nominees this year. Do you have any advice for them? Well, I think keep a good relationship with your management team and your agents and develop that relationship. Really make sure they believe in your work and then you can continue that relationship and also check your zipper before going up on stage to get your award. Thank you to my wife for giving me that advice last year. That's good advice. Who are you rooting for tonight? Is there a film you saw this year that you especially loved? Are there any, I guess what was it like? Um, it's not really a fair question. Well, Everything Everywhere at Once, I really loved that film because you saw a different cultural perspective that, that we, it's showing that Hollywood's beginning to have an open mind and invite in new cultural perspectives. And what a crazy way of thinking and, and a crazy film. There was a lot of metaphors and messages underneath the surface. I also liked All Quiet on the Western Front, uh, the German film. Oh, it was incredible. I saw it twice. It was so touching, so emotional, and really beautiful story. And there's some, so many other great films, too. You know, it'll be interesting to find out what the end result will be tonight. The pressure is off you this year since you're just here as a presenter. So what are you going to do after the show to celebrate? Are you hitting up any after parties? Oh, yeah, we're going to party hop. And there'll be several parties. It'll be really nice to support and congratulate all the nominees. And after that, we're going on a family vacation. We're going to an island somewhere. I love that. And I have to ask, where is your Oscar at home? Where did you put it? Well, I learned a lesson never to leave the Oscar in my Jeep. But I, it's, it's on a shelf inside my house. Once Someone actually stole my Jeep with the Oscar inside of it, but the cops find them. I learned my lesson. Never leave your Oscar inside of the car. I, I, was, I was bringing my Oscar around, showing it around town to uh, some children in my hometown, and I needed to find a place to put it. I left it in my car, I forgot to lock it, and it was stolen. So thank God the cops busted them and brought my Oscar back. So that's a lesson. Never leave your Oscar in your car and make sure that it's inside your house. And don't leave it alone. It's nice to keep it with some other awards, like a SAG Award, an Indie Spirit, and they can keep each other company, like children's toys, and they can say hello to each other. I love that. I'm glad it was returned safely. Thank you so much. Have a great night tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye.